them, and all kinds of little insects will get stuck on them. And uh, you know, they, they, I mean, they're pretty. I hate it when that happens. Actually, they're real because the sticky stuff stays on you for a long time. But uh, this was an important thing culturally. It was a native plant that had important cultural use. It was used to care by the bird catchers. What kind of birds? Well, all those uh, honey creepers, those native forest birds, the ones that fed on the nectar of the native plants. Many of them were very colorful. I was reading a document. Uh, uh, it was a journal from George Monroe, who's there's some native plants named for him. Actually, he was uh, instrumental in getting all these fences built on the island of Lanai, and uh, where he had the fences built, uh, is a, there's a, all the native forests left on Lanai are within the fences he built because he knew he needed to protect them from the deer. And yet he started off as a bird catcher here on Kauai, catching native forest birds for museum collections all over the world. And I'm reading, and he says, "Oh, shot three OO today." Well, the OO went extinct in 1982 after the hurricane. And when I read that, it almost broke my heart because it, it was one of those few birds that produced yellow feathers. It had all black and one tuft of yellow feathers around each leg. And so the Hawaiians would catch them and pluck all the little yellow feathers off and let the bird go. And here's George Monroe shooting them from museum collections. And he wouldn't have known. He couldn't have known. I mean, they were common when he was.